On the news this morning, establishment of River Rhine Areas Development Commission advocated. More stakeholders urged registered voters to collect their permanent voters' cards. Nigerian Air Force deploys fighter jets and special forces to Sokoto to tackle banditry. On the foreign scene, Pakistani police officers arrested for killing four people. Good morning and welcome to the news. My name is Nonye Mokoye. The establishment of a River Rhine Areas Development Commission has been identified as a proactive solution to the continuous challenges of flooding, shore erosion and infrastructural deficit facing River Rhine areas in the country. The All Progressives Grand Alliance Abga candidate for Anambra North Senatorial District, Prince Dr. Chinedu Emeka preferred the solution when he presented his nine-point plunged legislative manifesto to presidents, general, and traditional rulers of all the communities in Anambra North Senatorial Zone. A correspondent, David Opokwasili of the ABS, reports that the presentation of the manifesto held in Aguleri, Anambra East local government area, also provided an opportunity for the senatorial hopeful to have an interactive session with the community leaders on their specific needs and challenges. His report. A former deputy governor of the state said if elected, he will, in concert with other senators in the 8th Assembly, pursue vigorously the establishment of the commission, which according to him will provide an enduring solution to the lingering environmental disasters faced by dwellers of riverine areas in the country. Other areas where Dr. Emeka identified as priority for elected included the support for fiscal federalism, driving a review of Nigeria's indigenization policy, expansion of the roles and functions of the Infrastructure Concession Regulatory Commission, ICT enabled industrialization efforts, maximizing the economic potentials of the senatorial zone and youth empowerment. I will pursue legislative action to establish a river right area development commission. Through this commission, issues like annual flooding, shore erosion, infrastructure damage, etc., that have become the hallmark of river line and coastal communities will be addressed to improve the quality of life of Nigerians in these areas. Earlier, while endorsing the senatorial candidate on behalf of the President General, the National President and Ambro State Association of Town Unions, ASATU, Chief Alex Onukwe described APGA as a party that has defined its manifesto and the ideology of good governance, be your brother's keeper, and think home philosophy, and has consistently sustained its efforts of nurturing and mentoring new leaders in its ideology, thereby maintaining a track record of good governance, urging the candidates to maintain an open-door policy when elected, as this has been the bane of other representatives elected in the zone. The traditional ruler of Umweri, Iwesa Ben Emeka, who doubled as chairman on the occasion, in his opening remarks underscored the importance of a participatory presentation which such a forum presents and commended Dr. Emeka for the initiative while calling on the APCA candidate to ensure he maintains the culture when elected. Others who lent their voices on the need for a new mindset in the zone to ensure promotion of good governance and that the zone is returned to its pride of place included the traditional rule of Nteje, Igwerol and Odebo, Commissioner for Youth Empowerment and Creative Economy, Mr. Bonaventure Enemali, his transport counterpart, Mr. Ucho Kafo, Abga House of Representatives candidate for Anambra East and West constituency, Chief Chinedu Obidigwe, and Abga State Secretary, Barrister Tony Fanya. Endorsement of the senatorial candidate, Dr. Emeka, songs of solidarity, and an interactive session featured at the event. From Aguleri, Anambra East Local Government Area, I am David Awokwasele reporting, FBS News.
The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has been urged to intensify efforts to ensure that eligible voters collect their permanent voter cards at their various wards before the forthcoming election. The special advisor to the Governor on Special Duties and Continuous Voter Registration, Dr. Amaka Akudo, gave the advice when she monitored the distribution of permanent voter cards in some collection centers across the state. Correspondent Emmanuel Chibata fired the report taken from our studios. Akudo urged those who are yet to obtain their permanent voter cards to visit their different worlds to collect theirs. It should be recalled that the Independent National Electoral Commission commenced grassroots distribution our permanent voter cards at the world levels last Wednesday with the aim of enabling eligible voters to collect their voters' cards before the election. This exercise started on Wednesday, that is the uh, 16th of January. It will last till Monday, that is six days, till Monday 21st, including Saturday and Sunday. So I urge those that are not collected to go to their wards to collect their PVC. Meanwhile, at some collection centers in Okasa local government area, it was gathered that INEC officials were on hand to distribute permanent voter cards, but there was no turnout of people. At Oka Ward 2, Udoza Primary School, Apostle Arisa Benedict expressed disappointment that he could not collect his permanent voter card because, according to him, INEC did not publicize a particular place where people should go and collect theirs. It's 7 o'clock in the morning to 10. 10.30 before we left, nobody was there. No, I had People were there hanging up and down. I discussed with them, they checked the cards. My own cards was not here. And my brother, I think he has also checked his job. I don't know it. At Oka Ward 5, Ukuoji, Mr. Zoka Abata said, though he has since registered, he is yet to be issued a permanent voter card. I've been registered since 2017. I'm coming. I say some of my I don't know what that means. I mean, they have uh, they have denied me on my voter uh, card. So you can see now, this is my temporary, temporary listing. So. Also, Agatha Okonkwo and Obiageli Antonia of Okawa 2, who have received their permanent voter cards, commended the Independent National Electoral Commission for its preparedness in ensuring that people are not disenfranchised during the general elections. I'm, I'm so excited because I didn't know that if I come in I'll just collect it. So I'm so happy. They are really working. They are really working. Christians have been asked to hold on to God for his promises are new every day. The vicar St. Andrew's Church, Norgo, Venerable Godfrey Nkanyi Moore, who stated this in a sermon, said that whatever that is destined in someone's life will be fulfilled and called on the church to encourage their members to uphold faith in God. Noting that with fervent prayers, steadfastness and faith in God, all challenges will be surmounted. Amaka Chibuzo Okoye has details of that report. Venerable Nkai Mofoda said that God has taken control of all the activities involved in 2019 general elections and advised the church members to get their PVCs and vote according to their conscience as he counseled them against electoral fraud. <laughs> The parish priest of St. John's Catholic Parish in Gwagidi, Reverend Father Michael Kings Obala, enumerated the early miracle of Christ in Canaan, Galilee, which he said showed that Christ is able to do all things for their good. Reverend Father Obala urged them to show the joy of Christianity and share that which God has given to them to those in need as well carry their cross and suffering which is part of Christianity with joy. Cross and the suffering is part and parcel of Christianity. But we are called upon to carry our divine cross with joy, with cheerfulness. 
at the Redeemed Christian Church of God, King's Palace, Aromoka, the pastor, Evangelist Marshall Gospar, said the gate of righteousness is open to protect Christians from harm so as to manifest God's presence in their lives. In all the churches visited, prayers were offered for peaceful 2019 general elections and thanksgiving. Amaka Chibuzo Okoye, ABS News. The ongoing renovation and equipping of standard facilities in four family planning centers in the state will soon be completed. The project is being carried out by the Challenge Initiative in collaboration with the Anambra State Government. The initiative, which is simultaneous, going on in family planning centers in MCH, Ogidi, PHC, Eziowele, Okoko PHC, and Christ Church Health Post, OC Market in Onicha kicked off on Friday last week in the four communities in the state. We have details. Speaking on the essence of the intervention, the state program coordinator of the association, Mr. Aneto Ebwe, said association is complementing the government's drive in upgrading the state family planning centers and creating conducive environment for the health care provider that will enable them offer basic services to women and children and as well create the ambience that can attract community members to assess the facilities at all times. He expressed optimism that the project will be concluded and commissioned soon and thanked the state government for providing the needed support that fast-tracked the process. The essence is to give the facility a facelift to create a conducive environment for healthcare providers to offer basic services to our women and to children and above all to create the ambience that would attract more productive age and other committee members to come and uptake services in this facility. Contributing, the State Family Planning Coordinator, Mrs. Stella Ehwazo, said that the renovation of structures and the equipping of facilities will raise standards and explained that the theme was attracted by the Health Commissioner because of his proactive measures to transform the state's health sector. Seeing them, also we are supporting them, um, both physically, financially and otherwise. Yeah, courtesy of the Honorable Commissioner for Health, Dr. Joe Akabike, they all call rules of one. He's a very proactive commissioner and very hardworking, like our governor, the Abon Podika, Willie Obiadu. Mrs. Ekwazo expressed the light for continual support and training from the Challenge Initiative, CCI, towards encouraging and giving world-class family planning to the state citizenry. The Nigerian Air Force now says that it has deployed one of its fighter jets to Sokoto State to curb the activities of bandits responsible for a killing spree of innocent people in the state. To ensure that the bandits are wiped out in the shortest possible time, the NAF has also deployed a detachment of special forces personnel and equipment to the northwestern state. NAF Director of Public Relations and Information, Air Commodore Ebikunle Deramola, who made this known in a statement, said the deployment is to assist the efforts of security forces already on ground to deal with the spate of insecurity in some parts of Sokoto State and the areas bordering Zamfara. He explained that the deployment is aimed at adding value to the efforts to deal with the spate of insecurity in some parts of Sokoto State and the border areas between Zamfara and Sokoto State. Receiving the air assets, pilots and SF personnel, the air officer commanding tactical air command, AOCTAC, Air Vice Marshal Oladayo Amao, charged them to exhibit the highest sense of professionalism as they go about their task of securing communities whilst ensuring they deal decisive blows on the armed bandits. In our business news, more than five years after the nation's power sector was privatized, 55% of electricity consumers are still being subjected to estimated billing. The Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, in its latest quarterly report, said the provision of meters would improve revenue collection by the distribution companies. According to the regulator, 
The population of registered customers increased by 4.2% in the third quarter compared to the second quarter, while the metered customers increased by a relatively higher proportion of 4.4%. Next, said a review of the customer popula population data indicated that only Abuja, Benin, and Port Harcourt discos had metered more than 50% of their customers as of the end of September 2018. According to the report, a major initiative towards improving revenue collection in the electricity industry is the provision of meters to all registered end-use customers of electricity. In our foreign news, authorities in Pakistan have arrested counter-terrorism police officers after they allegedly killed a middle-aged couple, their 13-year-old daughter and another man in what the police initially claimed was a shootout with armed fighters. Police kill killed grocery store owner Mohammed Khalil, his wife Nabila, their daughter Ariba and a family friend Zishan Javed after stopping their vehicle late on Saturday near Sahiwal city in Punjab province. Police claimed Javed was a wanted terrorist and initially accused him of using the others as human shields. Family members and witnesses said police killed the four in cold blood and then tried to cover up their actions. Angry residents in the area have left the bodies of the, on the road as a form of protest. Authorities said they have launched an investigation and arrested the officers involved without saying how many. Prime Minister Iman Khan has vowed swift action against those found responsible for the killings. And our sports news. The Black Stars coach James Queshi Apia and his Super Eagles counterpart Gennot Rowe have been mandated by their employers to win the Nations Cup in Egypt. While Apia has been told that winning the Nations Cup in Egypt is a must for him if he wants to keep his job, Rowe has been told to try and win the title but with no threat over loss of job should he fail to win. Chairman of the Normalization Committee for Ghana Football Association, GFA, Dr. Cody Amua, made it clear that Apia will be sacked if he fails to win the trophy in Egypt. Apia has successfully guided the Black Stars to qualification for the finals in Egypt later this year, but he will have to win the tournament, which would be a first for Ghana since 1982 to keep on in the role. Unlike Apia, who is sure to be working under pressure, Raw may not be under pressure after President of Nigeria Football Federation, Amajo Melvin Pinnick, hinted that collaboration with the German tactician will be the way to go. Nigeria has won the title three times and will be gunning for a fourth title in Egypt, where for the first time, 24 teams will be on parade, while Ghana has won four times and will be iron the fifth title. And now remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by logging on to our website www.absradiotv.com. Like us at www.facebook.com slash ABS Radio Television. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at ABS Radio TV. And on the main points of the news, once again, establishment of River Rhine Areas Development Commission has been advocated. More stakeholders have urged registered voters to collect their permanent voters' cards. Nigerian Air Force has deployed fighter jets and special forces to Sokoto to tackle banditry. And from the foreign scene, Pakistani police officers have been arrested for killing four people. And that's the news for this morning. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Nonya Mokoye. Good morning.